It is never a sign of civility to compare your opponent's tactics to those of the Nazis, but that is exactly what one Democratic congressman did. The table. Republicans hailed the vote as a promise kept. Today, House Republicans are going to stand with the American people and vote to repeal their government takeover of health care, lock, stock, and barrel. Repeal will hit a brick wall in the Senate, but Republicans made it clear they won't stop there. We will not stop until we repeal a president and put a president in the position of the White House who will repeal this bill until we repeal the current Senate, put in a Senate that will listen to the American people and repeal this bill. Their next plan of attack? Starve health care reform of funding. For example, no money for IRS agents needed to implement the law's tax provisions. The, the debate was, the for the Republican most part, civil. But one Democratic congressman accused moment, Republicans of using Nazi-like tactics to make their case. They say it's a government takeover of health care. A big lie, just like Goebbels. You say it enough, you repeat the lie, you repeat the lie, you repeat the lie, and eventually people believe it. Like blood libel. That's the same kind of thing. The Germans said enough about the Jews, and the people believed it, and you had the Holocaust. Last night, the Anti-Defamation League condemned Congressman Cohen's words, saying, quote, that invoking the Holocaust and the Nazi effort to exterminate the Jewish people is offensive and has no place in civil political discourse. Robin? John, has a congressman apologized at all? Uh, absolutely not. In fact, he is standing by his words and says that he has no intention of apologizing. All right. Thanks so much, John. Have a good day. Sure.